this Marx Reviews and Tutorials video. What we are going to be working on today is uh, showing you what is a valve stem seal. Now inside your car engine, if you picture the um, block of the engine like this, um, let's say you've got a four cylinder engine, you've got four cylinders and these um, come down like this inside, your pistons are inside here and they go up and down, you've got a crank down the bottom. What you've got, bringing petrol in and out, you've got the head that goes on the engine on the top. Let's, let's draw the head here. And in this head, you've got valves. Basically, let's draw a valve. It's a big long thing like that, it comes out, goes down like that. And from the, you'd be looking at it from the end, it's round, uh, and from this end, it's, um, shaped like that. So what happens, the, the head part here of the motor is actually here, like that, and the valve comes up and down. So if it's an exhaust valve, it comes down, and when the piston comes up, the exhaust gas comes out, um, and if it's an inlet valve, then when it comes down, petrol comes in from the top. But all of these valves are quite similar, and all of them have a seal on them here, where it seals around onto the shaft there, and it comes out and it seals onto the wall here so that up here where the lubrication takes place, um, where the oil is, it doesn't leak down into the cylinder. You'd have an inlet here so the fuel can come in or the exhaust can go out, but the valve going up and down needs a seal on here. That's what a valve stem seal is. This is the valve, this is the stem of the valve, and this is the seal that stops it up in the top end here. Um, basically, the, the valve is on the bottom there, so it comes through into the cylinder, but the stem is up here, and you've got a seal right there which separates the oil that's up here in the top half from coming in where the petrol's flowing through or the exhaust flowing through. You need that to be separate. So you have a valve stem seal. And they're tough little babies because they've got to keep back exhaust gas um, and suction and pressure and the whole lot. But these do fail in engines, valve stem seals. The rubber around the top where it seals here goes hard and they lose flexibility. I'll, now you know where it is, what it does in the engine, I'll show you one. The most success we've had is with a big pair of pliers like this, grabbing hold of it on top, but of course there's limited space down in there. As you can see, as soon as you put tension, it just slips off. It's oily and it's round metal, but get a good hold, give it a bit of a twist and pull it out and out she comes. This valve stem seal off now. And uh, if you have a look at the size difference, this is the new valve stem seal and that's the old. There is such a massive difference in the size of the hole. So the size of the hole really matters because the shaft, the metal shaft that I showed you on the um, valve, the stem of the valve doesn't um, change in size. So as that hole gets bigger, it's creating a gap. So the oil that's lubricating at the top end of the engine up in the head can get down and that means it leaks into the cylinder. So it will burn. A, you gotta consume oil and B, you're gonna blow smoke. And that's why it's a problem with valve stem seals, causing them to fail your, um, your TUV or your smog or your um, roadworthy, etc. You can see there's a spring on there holding that tight and closed. And uh, that's the same. It's just way, way bigger. So any thought, uh, once they get to this point, and mine wasn't too bad, but any thought of a, an oil softening agent like those oil additives, it's not going to bring it in that much, not in a million years. It's... Um, not made any difference at all so unfortunately when these go they do need to be required. 